Hey guys, Ninja Nerd Girl with another STEM Sunday for you all. Um, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's dive in. First off, we had some really cool things happen with um, the private space industry where Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin and Sir Richard Branson with Virgin Galactic both went up into space, outer space, last month. Um, this is on their own space tourism commercial flight, and this is a really cool thing to see people who were not commercial, or excuse me, who were not NASA astronauts be able to go up. Now, these people aren't technically astronauts because they did not train to go to space, but they were able to kind of, like how you get on a plane to go see a different country, it was kind of like that, and it was a really cool thing to see. There's a lot of discussion about this, and if you guys have any questions, you can always feel free to DM me, and we can talk about it, because I know there's a lot of feelings, but at the end of the day, my feeling is if we're going to be able to do this space thing like we want to, like we see in the futuristic movies, movies and stuff, we're going to need all hands on deck that includes all the billionaires, but it also includes people like you and me to make sure that we do it the right way. So keep that in mind and DM me if you have any questions. We also had a weird incident in space where, um, well, if you guys know Starliner, it's like the Boeing capsule that's going to take humans up to space soon, and uh, it's supposed to take astronauts to the ISS. It was going to do its final test flights to make sure that humans could actually go on it and stuff, and just a few days before it did that, um, a, Russia ca a Russian capsule docked with the ISS and when it did that it's it's little rocket thrusters accidentally fired and it and it ended up pushing the ISS and kind of shoving it into you know a little bit of an unpredicted uh, spin there and so they had to write that and so now Starliner's grounded again so we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that final test to eventually get humans in space with a Boeing capsule. Another unfortunate space thing that happened was it was announced that NASA doesn't think they can make their moon by 2024 goal, and that's because it actually, surprisingly enough, of all the hard things in space, it was actually because of the spacesuits. Um, we're designing a brand new spacesuit, and spacesuits are actually really, really tough, and they don't think they can do it in time. Um, I did hear a rumor that Elon Musk said he would be willing to help out, as well as a few people at ILC Dover, so we'll see how that goes. One thing that was really cool that happened to me was that I went to something called Space Fest, and it's an event that basically highlights space artists. Yes, that puts the A in STEAM, 100% space artists, you guys, they're absolutely amazing. You should check out uh, space artists' work. But I got to meet astronauts and talk to a bunch of really cool space artists, including one of my friends. His name's Chris Wade, and he painted me this. Do you see this? This is my cat, and that's a little Rubik's Cube right there, just for my kitty. I'm so proud of her. She's now more famous than I am. We also have Never Give Up Day coming up. That's a great day about perseverance, never giving up on learning how to solve a Rubik's Cube, learning how to do math problems, figuring out STEM, becoming an engineer, hopefully becoming an astronaut, everything I'm all about. The moral of the story is you can never give up on what you actually want. In fact, one of my favorite quotes comes from a book that says, essentially, it boils down to this, that you will never have a dream. It's not right. I need to go get the book. Oh god, okay. There we go, okay. You will never be given a dream that you will not also be given the tools to achieve. That's so true. Everything that you can dream, you have the power to be. And that's part of the Never Give Up Day. We also have Inspiration 4 coming up. Talk about never giving up. That launch is finally happening September 15th. So put that on your radar. That's um, four civilians going up into space. Um, one of them being Cyan Proctor, near and dear to my heart. And you guys should make sure you watch that launch. And on top of that, they're actually getting a Netflix special. So you can go watch their journey and all the cool things they've done along the way on that Netflix special. One last thing for STEM Sunday. It's actually, we're starting to get into back to school time. In August and September, that's when everyone's going back to school, right? Well. This is your time, STEM Sunday, make it STEM every day, okay? So what I want you guys to do is think back over the summer, okay, and be like, okay, what is one thing I learned this summer? You got that one thing? Okay, cool. Now, the other thing, what's one thing I want to learn this year? All right, so you got these two things. One thing that you can give yourself a high five for learning, that's awesome. And the second thing that you're gonna push yourself to make sure you learn in the future. All right, guys, that's another STEM Sunday for you, and I cannot wait to see you guys next month. Okay, bye.